friends, and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. In today's session, we're going to be breaking out of that typical minor pentatonic box and learning how to diversify our licks using an adjacent position of the major pentatonic scale in D position. So we're going to get started reviewing those scale positions, then I'm going to break down a few ear catching licks. I got a full tab for you, as always, at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Become a member there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Learning the source scales behind this technique, which to put it simply, is basically just adding a kind of major extension to the common position of the minor pentatonic scale. So, your minor pentatonic scale. Okay, I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you know that already. You're playing some licks in that scale. And you want to add a little bit of brightness. Okay, that is a technique that I picked up watching Stevie Ray Vaughan's Austin City Limits performance. A great way just to add a little bit of major brightness. So, quick review. The minor pentatonic scale, we're going to have 5 to 8 on the low E string, key of A. 5-7. Five, 5-7. Seven. Five, seven. Five, seven. Five, seven. Five, eight. And then 5-8 again on the high E string. Okay, so there we have that minor pentatonic position. Okay, now we're going to learn where this little major thing's coming from, the major pentatonic scale in D position. So I call this the adjacent position because it's right next to that common position of the minor pentatonic scale. Super accessible. This position's going to look and sound like this. I might start from the fifth fret low E string, just to state my root. Then we're going to have... Here's the fifth fret of the low E string. The position's really gonna start here though, from seven to nine. Same thing on the A string. Same thing on the D string. Then the G string, we're gonna have six to nine. Then on the B string, we're gonna have seven to 10. And then the high E string, we're going to have uh, seven to nine again. You put all that together and we have. Okay, and as a quick tip for uh, ear training, you can always tell if you're playing a major pentatonic scale if you're able to create the main riff from My Girl. Okay, you see what I mean there? All right, so there you have it. You have the minor pentatonic scale. Anytime you wanna go major, you might wanna just slide up to the ninth fret of the A string. You got the major pentatonic scale also in the key of A. Okay, now we're gonna put those scales to work and we're gonna learn a couple of ear catching licks for your practice. Okay, getting started with lick number one. This one's gonna sound like this at full speed. One more time, get it into your ear. I might do a double stop to start that one off. Okay, now real slow, get it into your ear. Okay, so fifth fret of the G string, a nice kind of a half step bend, or a slight bend. All right, then a pull off from seven down to five on the D string. Then to the seventh fret of the A string, back to the fifth fret of the D string, so far you have. Then we're simply going to slide from seven up to nine into that adjacent position of the major pentatonic scale in A. And then find yourself the root note on the seventh fret of the D string. You put all that together and we've got. Okay, and like I said, you might want to do a double stop on the fifth fret of the G string and the B string to start this one off. Just to add a little bit of thickness to it. All 
Aww. Okay, now let's get an alternate ending down. So instead of going to the seventh fret of the D string at the end, I'm gonna invite you to do one of my favorite lead guitar tricks uh, for rock music. Slide from the seventh fret of the G string down to five, and then repeat that kind of slight bend using the index finger. Okay, so we have. Okay, and that's a really common way for me to get out of this major Bach. And get back into my common position of the minor pentatonic scale. So it's always nice to have an escape plan. Okay, now moving on to your second and final lick. This one's kind of like a call and response lick. So we're gonna have two parts. The first part's gonna sound like this. And then the second part's gonna sound like this. Okay, now, full speed. And real slow, getting it into your ear. Okay, notice how I went out of that major box there just a little bit by one half step to make it a little bit more bluesy. Okay, so this one starts in a very similar way. Fifth fret of the G string with that slight bend. Then the pull off. Then to the A string seventh fret. All right, and then next we're gonna play five to seven on the D string. That's your call. All right, then. Notice how I did a little staccato note too on that last note. Okay, putting a little bit of attitude behind it. Okay, now, the response we're going to play. Okay, so I slid from seven up to nine on the A string. Then I'm gonna play seven on the D string. Back to nine on the A. So far you have. Now we're gonna leave this little major pentatonic box. Just go up one half step. 10th fret of the D string. Another half step bend before resolving back to the root, the uh, seventh fret of the D string. You put all that together and we've got real slow. Okay, and then at full speed. One more time. for your week of practice. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lead guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you just want to tell me what you think, you can leave a comment down below. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.